Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the tips and secrets to get rich in Bloxburg. And this video is inspired by Teslin and Floral. So let's get started. The first secret is that the delivery person job pays the most. And that's why it's so good for long-term working. When you're first leveling up at the pizza delivery job, it can seem slow and boring. But if you really do wanna become rich in Bloxburg, you should start with this job. Because when you stick with it, as you can see, you earn 3,000 dollars per pizza at level 50 and this is the official number however if you're looking for a short-term job just to make a bit of money bloxy burgers has been proven to make you the most money short term it's so easy all you have to do is click the order and done and that's how you make your money now the more you level up the slower it goes but for the first i'd say 10 promotions you're gonna level up so fast and make so much money so if you don't want a long-term job you just want a quick little one bloxy burgers is what i would advise so the next tip is to actually boost your moods when working as you can see if i was to deliver a pizza right now with my moods low on level 50 i only earn 2100 whereas if i deliver a pizza with full moods I earn over $3,000. So definitely consider boosting your moves as it increases your earnings by about 30%. And the way I recommend that you boost your moods is through using Blocks Bucks. I know it can get expensive, but it's so much quicker than a mood station. However, if you want to use a mood station, here's how. You're gonna wanna put it on the plot in front of Pizza Planet. So you can make a really basic one like this, or you can splash out and make a cute one like this. Either way, all you need is a bar, a fridge, a TV, and a bed. And I would advise putting it in the very back corner because as you can see, this is really, really close to Pizza Planet. So it's much easier to just quickly pop in there when delivering pizzas. So the best way to use mood stations, in my opinion, is just after you've done a delivery that's nearby, then you can hop off your bike, watch the TV and get in the bath and all your moods are going to be going up. And then you can get back to work straight away and earn more money. And if, for example, your fun or your energy wasn't all the way up, you can actually take a cup of coffee with you or you can take a book with you and read this. And as you can see, this is going to be getting your fun up on the way back to work. And this is a really genius idea. However, something that you're not going to want to do with Mood Station is you're not going to want to build them in front of a massive house because the bills on this house are $10,000. And when you're working, you do not want to keep having $10,000 taken out of your bank so that's why you should always use an empty plot because the bills will be really low and you won't have money taken out when you're working okay so my next tip should be obvious anyway but do not use exploitations or try an afk work on blocksburg it's just going to get you banned off blocksburg and probably roblox too so do not do this it is not worth it to make a little bit of money because you will get caught okay so my next tip is to do with game passes and when it comes to working there's two i think you should get excellent employee and marvelous moods excellent employee doubles your earnings and it makes you level up twice as quick and marvelous moods makes you earn more money and makes your moods go down slower some people worry about getting disconnected while they're working but as you can see you will get your money as soon as you log back in the next tip is to work on a private neighborhood there's nothing wrong with working on a public server, but it can just get a little bit annoying. For example, there can be too many delivery NPCs and it gets confusing. You can run out of pizzas at Pizza Planet and have to end up waiting. People can just get in your way and you can get thrown out of work from plots. Now, all these things are fine, but you could easily find a neighborhood which is pretty much empty or you could buy your own and it's only about 150 Robux per month. Trust me, it makes working so much easier. So to go onto a neighborhood, you are either gonna go on one you already have or type in a code but personally i use my own neighborhood so this next tip is pretty simple it's just to be patient if you've just started working a job for example mechanic or woodcutter you're not gonna be earning so much money straight away so you have really got to be patient with it but like i said earlier if you want quick money work as a cashier at bloxy burgers if you want to be rich in the long run then work as a delivery person at pizza planet but for each one you're still gonna have to be patient now the next secret is some people think that if the delivery person's too far away then they can just end the shift and the delivery person will move however this is completely not true as you can see if i restart my shift the guy is going to be in the exact same place so it's really not worth it to keep trying to end your shift 
to get somebody who's closer. Now I have two other things to say on this matter. The first one is, some people think long deliveries earn you more money, however every delivery at Pizza Planet will earn you the same amount of money, whether it's opposite Pizza Planet or halfway across the map. And the second thing I have to say is the first pizza you deliver on a shift will always earn you less money anyway, and that's Blocksburg's way of making sure you're not just restarting your shift to make more money. Now another secret about pizza delivery promotion that it's the only job where you will level up two points instead of one and with excellent employee four points instead of two. I'm working as a pizza baker right now just to show as an example because mine is golden at level 50 but as you can see here you level up points each time. Now at a normal job like a pizza baker as you can see with excellent employee I level up two but if I was working as a pizza delivery driver I would level up four so therefore you will level up quick up with delivery person and make much more money. Now my next little tip is just to go and work for an hour. I know this sounds so random but not many people actually set time aside to work. They just work when they really need it. However if you find yourself with a free hour definitely go and work because you will be so surprised at how much you make at the end. Okay, so my next tip is to make money on the side of working. So the obvious thing to do is have a cafe business or a hotel, and you could have your friends work at the cafe while you're working, and if you have a till, then all the money earned from your cafe will go straight to you. So you'll really be making money in two ways. But if you don't wanna spend loads of money on building a cafe or a hotel, then you can actually rent out your house, for example, for people to role play in because obviously you won't be there when you're working or you can rent out your cars for example i have these fancy cars over here and you could give this to someone give them roommate on it and rent it out to them for let's say five thousand dollars and while you're working you are also making money on the side so when you reach level 50 on any job you are going to be rewarded with a plaque which says excellence award and presented to your username now if you're feeling like you want a bit of quick money you can actually sell this for nine thousand dollars and don't worry, if you want to buy it again later on, you can rebuy it for only $10,000. And you will get this for every job that you reach level 50 at. So the next tip is not to spend all of your earnings straight after you've finished your shift. Let's say you took my advice and worked for an hour, and now you have 170k. And you think, oh my gosh, I can finally afford this car I've always wanted, and you go and buy it. And now look, you're broke again. The key thing to do is not to finish your shift until you've earned way more than you're gonna spend. So let's say you did wanna buy this car and it's 170,000. I would advise working for about 200 to 250,000. That way, once you've bought the car, you're still gonna have quite a bit of money just for backup in case you wanna spend anything. Okay, so my next tip is please do not go and try loads of jobs. Of course, when you first join, you're gonna wanna see which one fits you best, but I'm talking about once you've settled into the game, do not start working at a bunch of different jobs because as you can see, you will not get to a high level on just one. And that's the whole aim of working in Bloxburg is to get a job to level 50 because that's where you earn the most money. So if you're serious about getting rich, please do not work at multiple different jobs. Just pick one that you want to get to level 50 on. Anyway, thank you guys all so much for listening to all of my tips and secrets for working in Bloxburg. I hope some of these helped you guys and I'll see you all next time.